In this video, you'll see how to take data from one worksheet in Excel and send it to a different sheet without using any macros. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. On this worksheet, there's a named Excel table and it has sales order. I would like to send the top orders where the total was over a certain amount onto a different sheet. And I don't want to include all the columns in the data that gets sent just the order number, the cost, and the total amount. And to do that, I'm going to use an advanced filter. This is the top order sheet where I want the data to end up. To tell Excel what I want to get from the other table, I'm going to put some headings up at the top, and this will be the extract area. And I'm going to create a criteria range in column E to say which column I want to check and what setting I want to check for. When we set up an extract area, the headings have to be exactly the same as are in this source data. So I'll select three headings that I want, order, cost, and total, and copy those with Control C. And I'll go to top orders and just paste the values there. I could make those bold and I want to check the total column. So I'll copy this and paste it here. The heading here in most cases for our criteria has to be an exact match as well. I want to check for orders where the total is greater than 200. So I'll type a greater than symbol and 200. The next step is to run the advanced filter. We want the data on a different sheet from the original data. So we're not going to start here. We're going to start on the destination sheet. We don't want to have an active cell anywhere near the other data on the sheet or Excel will assume that's our source data. So I'm going to click away from my headings and from the criteria. And in this cell, I'll go up to the data tab on the ribbon click Advanced, and the Advanced Filter dialog box opens. Our action, we don't want to filter in place, we want to copy to another location. The list range is our source data, so I've clicked in there, then I'll go to the Food Sales Sheet. This is a table, so to select it I'm going to click up at the top left, and you can see a diagonal arrow there. I'll click once and you'll see that just the data has those little marching ants around it. I'll click again and now the headings have been included. So sales data is the name of the table and all tells me that everything is selected. The criteria range, if I go to my other sheet, if you've done a filter before, you might have settings left over in here. So I'll clear that out. The criteria range is this heading cell E1 and the number, the criterion, in E2. Copy to, I'll clear that out. I want it to copy to this extract range. So those three cells, click OK. And we get any order where we've got a total greater than 200. If we go back and look at the data, there's a bit of formatting in this table. And this column has conditional formatting for any uh, total that's over $300. So we'll look at the results from the advanced filter and see what it kept. It kept the cell formatting. This cell was manually colored yellow and it kept this number formatting. It did not keep any of the conditional formatting. And also, if we go back to food sales, this column had a formula, but in the results that were filtered, everything's a value. So it's not going to keep your formulas for you. Another thing to keep in mind is that this is just a copy of the original data. If you make a change here, it does not affect the original data. And if you make a change here, it does not affect the results of this filter. If you want to update this list, you would have to run the advanced filter again. 